Welcome back. The school year has wrapped up for many students here in the DMV, but it is a great time for students and families to get their focus for the mm -hmm. next school year. And students these days face unique challenges and trends in education. So we're joined today by Robert Kelty, the North America Head of Outreach and Development for the International Baccalaureate Organization. Mm -hmm. Good to have you here. Thank you for yes, being here. Thank it's, you. It's, it's an honor. I'm excited to be talking about international about IB, yes. International Baccalaureate. I'm a graduate of the IB program um, down in Florida, but it's changed a lot over the years. What is the mm. focus now? Well, the International Baccalaureate, the IB, is an education foundation that was formalized way back in 1968, but we have historical roots that go back to 1924. Mm. And what makes the IB so special is really three things. The first is we're internationally recognized. Uh, we had humble beginnings. We were 12 schools in 10 countries. Now we're in over 6,000 schools in over 161 countries around the world. Wow. And in the United States, we have close to 2,000 programs wow. across the US. I think the wow. second thing that really makes the IB special is our commitment to inquiry-based learning. When you go into mm -hmm. IB schools, you see passive, you do not see passive learning, you see active learning. You mm -hmm. see students researching, dialoguing, collaborating on trying to solve problems that they're passionate about and the, and the problems that they want to commit their lives to. And then we encourage them to go out into the world mm -hmm. and act as a positive agent around the issues that they're trying mm -hmm. to solve. And the third one is bilingualism. Uh, whether you're in our early years program at three years of age all the way through high school, you're being exposed to a second, if not multiple languages. Wow. Oh, yeah. And as the world becomes smaller, that is so important oh, to be able to skill. Yeah, yes. speak multiple languages. We talk a lot about AI here. Is AI yes. part of the program at all? Is there an importance on that? I am really proud of the position that we took on AI. Our official position is if a school or district chooses to, we encourage the study of AI. We encourage the use of it. Uh, to look at the ethical implications. We really see it as a tool, like a calculator, like the internet. Right. Uh, we understand it's gonna have a seismic impact, uh, mm -hmm. but it's just another tool for our, for our students to study and to employ mm -hmm. around their passions. So it's not just using it to help study, but you, you're also teaching them what it means for our world, the good, the mm -hmm. bad, like Absolutely. everything. Absolutely. That's good, getting them kind of yeah. ahead of that. That exactly. ethical part. That's what we were always discussing is the ethical yeah, side of exactly. AI. So they're having those conversations we now. We are, and it's, wow. it's, we're unique in that position of saying, yes, please study it, use it, learn it, and figure out how we can employ it in a very ethical manner. Yeah. Okay, high school, element, I mean, middle, school's hard for kids these days, <laughs> yes. right? I mean, it was hard for us, but even more so now. How, yeah. do you, how does the IB program or organization help with emotional support? Mm. We focus a lot on emotional intelligence. We, we really look at Surround children holistically. Um, we tend to capture in students in moments of time, but I think it's really important to see that they are gonna be living adults out there, mm -hmm. making a positive change. And so I think focusing on the emotional intelligence is just as critical as focusing on the academic side of things. Is that like being aware of how you feel or what does that all mean, I Aware of how you feel, studying your emotions, thinking about your emotions, okay. managing your emotions. And those are real skills in, in not only the 21st century workforce, but in life. Mm. And so I think as schools shift to really focus on social emotional learning, it's really important to always focus on the whole child. And that's something that mm. we really endorse. Yeah, so yeah. the teachers are more kind of helping them figure out what those feelings mean instead of you know, yeah. pushing them Tampering away. Tampering it down, yeah. yes. And then wow. dialoguing about it and communicating about it and then understanding how we can regulate it to make sure we can do positive things. What do you say to somebody that says the International Baccalaureate is too hard for my child? Yeah. I get that a lot. I mean, it's <laughs> rigorous, I went through it, it's hard, but it prepared me so much for college. It exactly. got, got me a full ride for, mm -hmm. for college. And, and the, the fun thing about the IB too is we have an early years where preschools are doing inquiry-based teaching and learning. Yeah. We have a primary years for elementary schools, a middle years program for our middle, uh, middle schools, and then we have two high school programs, the diploma program and the career-related program. Mm -hmm. And so I would say exactly what you just said, it's really about being prepared for college and being positioned mm -hmm. to go to your college of choice. Mm -hmm. And that's what the IB yeah. really positions our students to do. Oh, it has yeah. evolved so much over the <laughs> last years. I'm down. like, I don't a remember these Kristen. programs. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting, yeah. though. That's exciting, yes. preparing our kids for the future. Thank you yes. so much. Thank Such you for great information. It. Thank yeah. you for having me on. Appreciate it.